Hi, I'm Patrick Day, and thanks for watching my video. You probably recognize my voice because in previous videos, uh, um, you've just seen me from down, so I thought I'd just give you a little face to go with the voice. Uh, what I want to do today is talk about uh, a phone call I got the other day from the guys at Precise Fits. They saw the previous video and said, hey dude, did you read the instructions that were included in the box? Uh, because if you did, you would have realized you were doing something wrong. So what I'm doing now is creating a, uh, an addendum video, a correction video, to show the assembly of the collet into the spindle. Okay, let's begin. In the previous video, uh, what I had done wrong, according to the instructions, was taken the piece that holds the mill, the drill bit, and place that into the spindle and then put the collet on and tighten it up. And what happened was when I tried to take this out, that was a son of a gun to get out. So I've done some experimenting here and it doesn't seem like much, but just take it prior to putting it in, if you take that in and I'll be quiet here, you can hear it click. Alright, so it should it should hold it in place. So now when I take this on here, tighten it up. You can see it tightening it up there. Closes up nice and precise. I'm just going to hand tighten it right now because when I hand tightened it before, I wasn't able to get the collet out. But now when I do that, I can actually feel it unscrewing. And when it unscrews, it takes that piece with it. So it's just that simple. So, and this, this comes out, you know, it's just, it's just a mi minor little click, but gosh darn it, it makes all the difference in the world. Put it back in there. Okay. There you go. That should be good to go. All right, folks, thank you very much. Uh, hope I didn't uh, steer you wrong uh, uh, with the first video.